Greetings everyone and thank you for taking the time to stop by and check out this video. I hope this finds you well wherever you are. I thought I'd just do a bit of a fun video. I don't know where it will fit in the series or what to do with it, but I'm a big fan of science fiction. And being a fan of science fiction, and I'm sure many of you are too, you would be impressed by the Death Star. Obviously this isn't the impressive Death Star we see in the movies. However, it's a yeah, close approximation. Why am I talking about the Death Star? Well, I've heard people... This is an apologetics video, and a Catholic apologetics video at that, so... If you don't want to hear any more, well, you can switch off now, but I guess you're intrigued. What is the connection between the Death Star and the New Jerusalem? Jesus has promised in the Bible that there is a room being prepared for everyone. Now, some would say, how much room is there in heaven? And I think you'll be surprised. And for that very comparison, I thought I'd compare the description of the city of New Jerusalem, not heaven, not the new heavens, which is much bigger, not the new earth, which is huge, <laughs> but just the city of New Jerusalem. So here is the Death Star 1. Now, I have actually done these to scale. Drawn badly, yes, but to scale nonetheless. So here we begin with the Death Star 1. Now for the sizes of these, I just looked up Wikipedia, picked the largest, not the definitive from what I understand, but the largest estimated on the Wikipedia page. So Death Star 1 was approximately 200 kilometers. Now, after they got the insurance bill, which I'm sure they in inflated a bit, they were able to afford a much bigger Death Star. And according to the always accurate Wikipedia, its maximum size given is approximately 400 kilometers. And here we have the say size comparison, just to show the benefits of a good insurance policy. Now, how does this compare to the New Jerusalem as spoken about in the Bible? It's not as impressive, this Death Star, as you think. In the book of Revelation, chapter 21, verses 15 through 17, the angel that was speaking to me was carrying a gold measuring rod to measure the city and its gates and wall. The plan of the city is perfectly square. Its length, the same as its breadth. He measured the city and his rod, and it was 12,000 furlongs equal in length and in breadth and equal in height. Twelve thousand furlongs is two thousand four hundred kilometers in today's terms or in, in in metric. That is larger than any city currently on Earth, even taking it being one floor. And as it's 2,400 kilometers high, that is very nearly the size of the moon. Well, give or take. But it is quite impressive. To put it another way, in how impressive 
the city of God actually will be. The first floor, and imagine this, the city is 2,400 kilometers high. If you take just one floor, just one level, the city is approximately twice the size of Argentina in terms of land area, and that's just one. 2,400 kilometers squared is 5,760,000 square kilometers. Argentina is 2,780,000 1690 square kilometers so it's approximately half the size of what the new Jerusalem will be that gives you a context of when Jesus said that there's a that there is room in my father's house he really meant it And even if you took all the people who ever lived, you could probably fit them in with room to spare and several acres of land on one or two floors. So that will put it all in context, I hope. Um, hopefully I can make a more professional video soon than this <clears throat> but I hope you enjoy this and hopefully this gives you some pause to think that the heaven that God has promised us really is there really is space for everyone and from my point if you get to know the Catholic faith it gives you the best chance of getting there. Not the only chance, I'd say. In heaven, yes, everyone is Catholic. But I do believe that people who are outside the church but live by the church's teachings, whether they openly support the church or not, or may even be hostile towards it, but keep the commandments in their hearts, then there is hope. So thank you for listening to this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hopefully I'll make some more of these in the very near future. So thank you for listening and I hope I hope you enjoyed it. By and let me know by hitting that like button and if you haven't already subscribing. So I'll see you all again soon and thank you.